Yes. Hey guys, how's it going? Boris Download here. This video marks the start of a new series that I talked about that I'm finally getting underway. These are the operator profiles for Rainbow Six Siege. So this will be my view on the operators, some of my strategies for them, and any tips and tricks that I want to pass on. So today we're going to be starting off with Sledge. Sledge is an attacker with the SAS counter-terrorist unit. His loadout is going to consist of a choice between two primary weapons, two secondary weapons, and two secondary gadgets. So let's take a look at them now. His first primary weapon choice is going to be the M590A1 shotgun. This is a middle of the road shotgun. It's got quite high damage at close range. Very useful for putting holes in walls. Its ammo capacity isn't anything to boast about. But it can be really, really useful if you're getting up close and personal, which is obviously what Sledge is very good at thanks to his hammer. His other primary option is going to be the L8502 assault rifle. This is a, a medium range assault rifle with fair damage and fair capacity. This is, uh, this is a lot of fun to use. It's a very well rounded weapon and uh, this is going to be uh, another good choice. Both of these weapons are viable options. For secondary weapons, you can have a choice between the P226 Mark 25 handgun. This is a f this is a high damage handgun with moderate capacity. This would be very useful if you wanted something with a little more control on uh, as your secondary. But my recommended secondary is going to be the SMG11 machine pistol. This is effectively a micro Uzi submachine gun, and it's a lot of fun to play with. Its damage is very low and its capacity is very low, but you can see that its rate of fire is ridiculous. It is going to burn through ammo like there's no tomorrow, but if you're in a tight spot, there's someone coming out for you and you haven't got time to reload your primary, switching to this will give you that little bit of extra firepower that you need to be able to take them down. The recoil on this is quite substantial. It was, um, it was nerfed recently because people were using it almost as a primary weapon when it is intended to be a secondary, but despite this nerf, it is still really, really useful and that's going to be my recommended secondary. In terms of secondary gadgets, you've got a choice between the frag grenade and the stun grenade. Both are very viable options depending on your playstyle. I personally tend to go with the frag grenade because it's really, really useful to clear out a room and he is one of only two operators that can take them. But be careful if using that if you're playing on hostage because I've seen the hostage killed with grenades far too many times. So Sledge's special ability is going to be his breaching hammer, which you're going to see me use here. And what this can do is it can destroy any destructible surface in a small area. So what this means is that if it's completely destructible or partially destructible, he will put a hole in it. So that's walls, barricades, floors, he'll take out the trapdoors he want to hit as well. He can basically just create a lot of holes all over the map. And that's what makes him really useful, is the fact that he can do so many of these. His hammer has 25 charges I suppose you would call it. I don't know why they decided to put in a limit on the number of hammer strikes he can do. I guess it's to stop people just sort of trying to destroy the whole map. But um, 25 is still a lot compared to the fact that most people remember only have three breaching charges and so can only breach three things. Sledge can do it multiple times. He can do it 25 times and so he can really just create a lot of lines of sight uh, on the enemy. He's a medium armor, medium speed character. That's quite useful because it means he can run around the outside of a room fairly quickly and just open up a lot of holes. Uh, some tactics I'd use with him, he's great for very quiet destruction. I wouldn't exactly call him stealthy, because in a game like this you can't really have stealthy. But what you can do is have your teammates do a loud sort of breaching charge destruction, or maybe a thermite. Uh, on one wall, while he comes around the side quietly, because that's the good thing about his hammer, it's very, very quiet. And so the other team might not hear it if they're distracted by the, the louder breach. So if you have your team do that, then you come through, and you can get the drop on a couple of defenders with them uh, caught with their trousers around their ankles, as it were. Another strategy you can use with him is knock a hole in the wall and then lob a grenade in. Uh, often they're not expecting a hole to just appear and then a frag to come flying through, so that's a nice strategy to do. Uh, you can take out trapdoors from above, who act as a distraction, and then come round and get them from the side. Even if you don't come round and flank them, then that just gives them something else that they've got to think about, and so it just puts them in that little bit on edge. 
Uh, as well as this sheet, it's obviously very useful for taking out barricades without um, not having to melee it three times as you would normally have to. So that means that they don't get the chance to shoot you through the barricade. So what you just saw there was a good example of using the SMG-11 that I mentioned. Uh, Cap kind of came out of nowhere, I'd sprayed him down, I didn't realise but I actually got him into DBNO. But I thought he was going to come around and I didn't have time to reload my assault rifle. So I just switched to the SMG-11 and then I was able to gun him down. And that's what it's really useful for just those moments when you know, you're in a tight spot and need a bit of extra firepower. In terms of pairings, there's a couple of operators that Sledge is going to work out really well with. Uh, the first one is Glaz. Sledge plays really well with Glaz because he can open up lines of sight for Glaz to then take advantage of with his sniper rifle and flip scope. So that's a very nice pairing. Uh, Thermite as well, because they can do simultaneous breaches, especially if Thermite takes the breaching charge as well. Now before, before the update, uh, Sledge used to be able to take breaching charges, so if you had those two both taking breaching charges, you could have breaches in four different places. Unfortunately now Sledge no longer has the breaching charges, but if you pair him with Thermite, who did take breaching charges, then you can do three breaches at different locations, and that's a really, really intimidating thing for any defenders, so that's another nice pairing. Uh, similarly with Ash, because she can also breach in two separate places as well, so that you can have another three breaches going on. Uh, another interesting pairing is him with any shield operators, so that's Blitz, Montaigne, Fuse if he's got the shield, and even Blackbeard with his rifle shield. Because what the shield can do is they can go in and fill the hole that Sledge has made, and then that makes them quite hard to take out, and it's a very nice distraction as well, because Sledge can then go around to another... Uh, uh, to another location and catch the enemy unawares. So that's uh, that's a nice pairing that you can do as well. In terms of defenders that Sledge is going to work well against, there are three really that he'll go work well against. The first is Castle, because although Castle's barricades are bulletproof, they're not Sledge proof. One hit from Sledge's hammer, as you saw earlier, will completely take them out, and that makes him a very effective counter to him. Similarly with Mute, obviously because Sledge's hammer is not electric, uh, mute jamming devices will have no effect on it whatsoever, so even if they do the castle mute pairing, which would normally mean that they, uh, those castle barricades can't be breached, Sledge can still take them out with one hit, no problem. The other possible counter is Tachenka. Now, if Tachenka's got himself set up in a bad spot on his turret with a destructible wall behind him, then Sledge can open that wall up and get a good couple of shots on Tachenka before he has time to turn around or get off the turret. And so that means that Sledge could be considered uh, quite a good counter to Tachenka as well, but only if tachenka has been a little bit stupid with where he's put himself. There's no real direct counter operator to Sledge. Obviously, once any metal reinforcements have been put up on walls, then Sledge's hammer cannot destroy those. It's not like a thermite charge. He, he can't go through the metal reinforcements. But the only operator whose ability is really a counter to Sledge is Capcan. And that's because if Sledge isn't paying attention and he uses his hammer to break through a window or a barricade or something like that, and there's a Capcan device behind it, if the hammer breaks the beam as it's taking out the barricade, then the device will go off and kill Sledge. So that's really the only counter that there is for Sledge in the game. That's about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this in-depth look at Sledge. Because I want you guys to be a little bit more involved with this series, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you decide which operator we look into in each video. So at the end of each video, I'll give you a choice of five randomly chosen operators, and then you guys can just leave a comment saying which one you'd like to see, and the most popular one will be the one that gets done. So the choice for this week is Thatcher, Mute, Thermite, Pulse, or Montaigne. Uh, just let me know which one of those you'd like to see in the comments. If there's no majority, then I'll just pick one at random. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you out there, guys. If you want to see my last video on Siege, which covered my top five defenders, you can find that over here. And if you want to have a look at some of my gameplay of The Division, a series that's ongoing, then I will be adding some more too soon, you can find that over here. Don't forget to check those out. You can see my Facebook, my Facebook fan page and my Twitch channel down in the description. Don't forget to go and have a look at those. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of what I do. And I'll see you out there, guys.